Students and families in the Chippewa Falls Area Unified School District are getting a better idea of what the fall semester will look like. Our own Evan Hung spoke with the district's superintendent to learn more. With just weeks to go until the start of the fall semester, the Chippewa Falls Area Unified School District revealed their road to reopening plan for students to return to classrooms or learn from home. Under the new plan, families will decide between an in-person and remote learning option or a 100% virtual learning option. Under the in-person model, students will be on campus five days per week, but it could transition to remote learning based on health department recommendations or the issuance of a state or federal order. Students who choose to learn virtually will be given an electronic device to take courses from home and will not be able to return to in-person classes until the end of the semester. And masks will be mandatory for all students and staff at all times, except when eating, drinking, or for other medical purposes, and they will be distributed to students at the beginning of the year. Social distancing guidelines will also be in place. Superintendent Jeff Holmes says the district will follow guidelines put out by the county's Department of Public Health throughout the year, and the virtual option is available to students and parents who don't like the mask mandate. I let people know in the plan, look, if, if you're that opposed to your child wearing a mask during the day, well, then the virtual option is for you. That's one of the main reasons why we created the virtual option for those people who are not yet ready to send their kids back or if they don't feel like they can follow the mandate. So far, Holmes says about 300 students across the district have enrolled in the virtual learning option. And if your family is considering it, you have until tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. to register. All right, thanks, Evan. Well, students within the district are set to return to school on September 1st. You can view the full report on our website, wqow.com.